Good morning, friends. Have you ever been so angry you just you can't breathe? Have you ever cried so hard that you can't breathe? Last night I had a difficult time sleeping because I just, well, as you all know, this is, this is a rough time to process what all of this is that we're dealing with. And I have to tell you, I felt a little um, weird because this week we pre-recorded the service. And so my sermon comes across as kind of tone deaf because I don't say anything about George Floyd. So this morning I woke up very, very early at decided to come in and write a second sermon. So that second sermon is available on, on Facebook entitled, I Can't Breathe. And I start with that first officer who kept his knee on the neck of George Floyd despite him saying multiple times, I can't breathe, crying out to his mother. Talk about the officers, the three officers who stood there and calmly and deliberately watched as the breath left George Floyd's body. As he said, I can't breathe, they did nothing. And the 17-year-old girl who was brave, calm, and deliberate in making sure that nobody could deny the truth of what happened. As George Floyd said, I can't breathe. So I invite you to refine that, that second sermon on Facebook, but I also invite you to join us for worship at 10 a.m. on Zoom, Facebook Live, and YouTube Live this, today because it's a pre-recorded service. And despite um, <laughs> anger and tears, I'm still pretty excited about what it is that we present to you in our sermon uh, this, uh, this morning at 10 a.m. Mountain, noon Eastern. <sighs> Take a breath and remember that it says in Genesis 2, the Lord God formed the human from the topsoil of fertile land and blew life's breath into their nostrils. I can't imagine how difficult it is for God to breathe today too, whether angry or sad. As we attempt to uh, uh, struggle and, and deal with our feelings, emotions, anger, and sadness um, on what is happening, we're going to have a special Zoom meeting at noon here um, just to talk through and process our feelings. And you're invited to do that. Um, check your email if you get our church emails. The Zoom link is there at noon. Or if you want to join us and you don't get our emails, uh, just email me at pastor at parkhillchurch.org and I will send you the link. <sighs> breath is a gift of God and, and the snuffing out of breath is an offense to God for which we must pray. Ask God's mercy and grace upon the families of those who lost and upon ourselves as we deal together as a community with what is next. Have a good Sunday.